So good afternoon to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about BPC. I'll share. So today we'll discuss all the major announcements that are present for BPCL and in short term followed by long term how the stock will perform. So we'll try to find out. We'll do the complete technical analysis and also we'll see the day to day wise deliveries so that we'll have the entire clarity regarding this particular stock. So first discussing about the major thing that the company is going to declare is the special dividend. So we know on regular basis we expect some very good dividends from these type of companies. So major stock movement we can't expect, but in short term definitely you will get some very good returns. So what is the special dividend and interim dividend? So we'll try to discuss all the basic details, and after that we'll go to the technical charts. So before that, if you're new to the channel, then definitely subscribe the channel. and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified and do join the telegram group i'll provide link in the comment section okay so as i told we are going to discuss about the special dividend followed by the final dividend that the company is going to declare so you can see 35 rupees is the special dividend followed by 23 is the final dividend so if you add both you'll get roughly around For fifty-eight rupees per share, so this will be the dividend. So very good percentage-wise, you can expect a dividend. So BPCL, when we see the long-term chart itself, so maximum it has not given any huge returns because it is a government company, and we don't expect any massive movement. So only on updates, specially related dividend. So that time only the stock gives some very good momentum. So currently it is around four fifty rupees level. So this much amount of percentage we can expect in short term it may even give 30 to 35% return okay so this is one update so recently it has also declared the quarter result so the numbers were not that great so obviously it is expected being a government company and even uh, there were updates related to the privatization so that may happen maximum uh, by this particular financial year okay so those were the updates from finance minister so now we'll try to discuss the technicals wise and also we'll see the day to day wise deliveries okay so if you see the day to day wise deliveries in bpcl you can see on 12th august we have seen 29.8% deliveries and you can see an increase in the traded quantity because of the volatility so recently we know all the mid caps and small caps have recently shown the correction but bpcl is not to that category it is a very huge market cap company so just because market was volatile the stock was also having little bit of swing so generally it doesn't give any huge upward movement so only on news basis the stock gives that much amount of momentum so last 3 to 4 sessions also you can see marginal increment and decrement was present in the stock so since dates have come specially related to dividend at any point of time we can expect some very good move in the stock so definitely for short term you can accumulate this particular company at each and every level so what are the levels so now we'll try to discuss once we go to the technical charts Okay so first we'll try to do the complete analysis on weekly chart time frame so once you see the weekly chart you can see the two moving averages that we usually discuss so first one is 200 day exponential moving average and the second one is 50 day so green color one is 50 red color one is 200 so you can see the stock was sustaining the 200 exponential moving average very well and it was trading above that particular region so which is roughly around 446 rupees so after crossing the 450 a little bit of buying volume was also generated and now it is holding that particular level very well so once it crosses the 470 475 we can expect it may even go to 500 rupees level because of the note of dividend that the company is going to declare so make sure you can add this particular stock at any region between 450 followed by 444 if you want to buy it for short term itself and you can see the 50 day exponential moving average is also very close to 200 day so you can expect some very good quality movement in the next coming months so september is going to be the x date 16 september so at that point of time so you can hold this particular stock okay so now let's go to daily chart as well Okay, so once you see the daily chart, you can clearly understand uh, how BPCL was traveling in a particular range. 
so the support was roughly around 444 440 in that particular region and the resistive region was around 465 so in that particular zone the stock was traveling it was going up again it was coming down so people who are doing swing trade so ultimately they got benefited so obviously it is a swing trading stock itself so again it is near the support region so if you are willing to add as i told so you can buy at the current levels also so once it crosses 465 470 again it will start its new journey so these are the basic details so further if you're having any doubts you can ask in the comment section and also you can connect with me in instagram instagram id is stocks so until then stay safe take care bye bye